make a point. When I prepared my talk, I didn't know that uh, it could be done in French. So I could not switch it anymore because uh, for a technical reason. So I'm sorry for the both sides, for the French and English speaking people, because maybe my English is a bit rougher also. So my first word is to, to say that uh, I'm very pleased to be with you today. And also, and I am really greatly happy also and also to thank the Akbar Ali Foundation for giving me this opportunity to be here. So what I'm going to share with you today is the unlimited opportunity offered by the endemic plant from Madagascar, which is my country. Particularly, I would like to focus on the use of these plants to treat Against, to fight against cancer. Frankly speaking, this field is really an endless frontier. As a matter of fact, 70% of plants from Madagascar are endemic. That means that when you go outside to the countryside of Madagascar or to the forest, in Madagascar, 70% of the plants you are seeing could not be found anywhere else. That's fantastic. And uh, you can imagine that the huge opportunity offered by this fantastic biodiversity. So the question is, what is the chance to find a new drugs by to treat the gynecological and breast cancer by using these plants. In order to answer uh, that question, I need to make two points. The first point is that 60% of the drugs on the market for, the, for cancers is, are, from, and are already from natural source. The second point is that uh, a, famous, a famous endemic plant uh, from Madagascar called Cantarantus roseus generated already uh, four drugs on the market. These drugs treat leukemia, the drugs also treat uh, different types of cancer like lung, breast, and also prostate cancers. So, these points confirm that it is possible to find drugs from the endemic plants of Madagascar. It's not a myth, it's a fact, and the proof of concept is there. So the next question is, what, is, what strategy is best for enhancing the chance of success? So, as you know, many attempts have been made already by the pharmaceutical companies to use the modern drug discovery technology like combinatorial chemistry, like also alphabet screening, and so on. So all of these technology are based on quantity, not on quality. That means that in principle, if you increase the number of a product you tested, the change you find the new drugs would be higher. Unfortunately, they made a lot of investments to buy a robot, but the robot did not provide the result, the expected result. As a matter of fact, the biological process is a complex system, and maybe also the robot, the nature, did not fall in love to the robot machines. So, in addition to that, this is the process. This process is very expensive. And also, it needs all a huge amount of raw material. So, it doesn't fit with the economic and cultural situation of developing countries like Madagascar. This is why we have adopted 
a different approach. This approach is based on the marriage between the traditional medicine and the modern drug discovery technology. The traditional medicine will give the information on the pharmacological properties and also on the toxicity on the, on the plants. And then the new technology will confirm the biological activity of these plants. It is important that the information from this traditional medicine have been, ob uh, have been obtained by the traditional therapist from generation to generation. So the project would not start at a ground state. It start already at a higher level. And this is why the chance of finding a new drug based on this approach is higher. So in addition to that also, that if you start at a good, a good starting point, because a lot of information have been already you have in, in hands, and it doesn't cost too much to run this process. So what about the future? For us, the future is great and bright. As a matter of fact, that we at the IMRA, our institute, we have already collected about 3,000 endemic plants, and they are ready for anti-activity uh, assays. And uh, what we need is just a collaboration with you, a support, because to run in this biological assay is a little bit expensive. In addition to that also, that the, in terms of in a long-term future, if you find an active plant, this could have an impact not only on the health system, but also in the economy of Madagascar. Because the, you can perform an industrial plantation of this active plant, and that will uh, give some dynamics in the region in terms of economy. And also, the second point is that uh, it is also, uh, it will help also to preserve the biodiversity in Madagascar. Now, for what, that could, what could be done with our team? So let's say that uh, we have a dream team at uh, IMRA. So this team is led by the professor, Suzanne Ratsimandang. And you can see from the left, Dr. Jean-Francois Jonasson, who is the head of uh, the Department of Experimental Oncology at IMRA, and uh, with his technician, Mr. Slufnien, and I am the research director and development at IMRA. Now, we cannot, I cannot see it from here. So let's just say we need really a strong collaboration to make this happen. I think that if you go together and we do something together, the chance of success will be so I will terminate my presentation with uh, botanist beliefs. They say that uh, God sends the human beings to earth just to discover medicine in the plants. Thank you very much for your attention.